Good afternoon guys and happy uh, Friday. Is today Friday or Saturday? Is today Friday or Saturday? Friday. Friday, Friday. to all of your sunshiny yeah. faces. I don't actually know what day it is. All I know is tomorrow's Christmas Eve. And I've been out for five hours today guys. Grocery shopping for Christmas and Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh. I literally... Ugh, so let me tell you guys where we went today. I was planning on starting the vlog earlier, but then like by the time we got to like the second store, or not second store, like third, third-ish store, I was just like too exhausted to even, I think Matthew's trying to do a mannequin challenge over in the corner over here. What's that, Matthew? What? <laughs> um, anyways, I was just, oh my goodness, I was so tired from yesterday. I was just exhausted, guys. I'm still exhausted. My back and my neck and my shoulders are all hurting shoulders. like crazy. And um, I just got yesterday's vlog actually edited and it's saving right now. And now I have to pre-make everything that we're going to have for Christmas Eve dinner tomorrow. So, we normally end up getting Boston Market and this year I am like making homemade Boston Market at home because I found like a bunch of like copycat recipes on the internet and on top of that it's cheaper and I had like almost all the ingredients on hand almost anyway with the exception of like a couple things. Everything else like with the potatoes, I already have potatoes. Like I just needed like dill or whatever. Like for the macaroni and cheese, I actually bought the macaroni which is like the big spiral noodles like um, last week actually and then all I needed was some Velveeta. So, and you know, maybe a couple other things things, eggs, butter, whatever. I needed more stuff, honestly, for the appetizers. I will share that probably with you guys just in tomorrow's vlog because I don't want to go over everything that, like, I'm going to plan for tomorrow. But I do have to do, like I said, a lot of the prep today. So that's what I'm going to do right now, and I'll kind of share with you guys as I go along with that and stuff. Matthew, I think, is cleaning up in the living room or supposed to be. He's playing with the dog and her tennis ball right now. Um, and he's watching the Family Guy Christmas special. This morning we ended up going to actually a store to pick up a Christmas present um, that we actually went to really early so there was like nobody there. We left at like 8 o'clock this morning and then we ended up going to Valley Produce which was like kind of busy. Caputo's which was crazy busy. Then we went to Jewel which wasn't that busy but they only had two lines open so there was still like four people in each line and then like the self checkout lines but it was still like pretty early there and our Jewel isn't normally that busy and then Aldi the store that normally is the busiest on the weekends wasn't even busy for it being a weekend like I mean today's I guess still technically Friday but there was like less people there than there normally is on Saturday and compared to how many people were at Caputo's I thought Aldi was just gonna be crazy we actually got like a front parking spot and everything which we almost never get at Aldi because there's so many people there like on a Saturday when we normally go surprisingly Aldi was not that packed but um we got everything done my dad actually said that he's gonna go to um, Menards in the morning tomorrow because we're at a fabric softener and um, even though we're not doing laundry we normally do that like on our shopping trips we don't normally go to Jewel but I had a couple things to pick up there there's a couple good deals and stuff that I did want to grab while we were there and like things that were on sale like that I was like oh that could go with an appetizer or something or whatever and I also they had ground beef on sale and I'm doing meatloaf so that's kind of like long story short everywhere we ended up going but we normally would go to Menards. My dad's just gonna go super early in the morning tomorrow instead by himself most likely. So I'm gonna give him a list of the couple things that I am gonna need. First, my dad actually just got done peeling the apples. I'm gonna cut those up because they're gonna be cinnamon apples. I actually made them a, I don't know what recipe I ended up using, but I did actually make these maybe like for Thanksgiving one year or maybe for Christmas like two years ago or something. I might have to go back and check one of the old vlogs and box. see. You just found $10? Yeah, it was a card that Aunt Carol sent me to get well soon, and I guess it was under the chair. Wait, when you broke your... Yeah. When you broke your thumb? Yeah. She gave you money because you broke your thumb? She said to get well soon. She, for my birthday, she gave me $21, and it was all in singles, because it was a gag joke. Are you well, serious? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, maybe don't get older. Just break thumbs. You can get more money. Okay, I'll, I'll remember to do that next year. This is gonna be the first thing that I'm doing. I'll try and link all these below for you guys. 
those are the Boston Market cinnamon apples that I am going to make. Except for I'm kind of doubling the recipe. And um, I can actually pre-make these and then I'm just going to bake them tomorrow. I guess you bake them for 40 minutes. But I'm going to do that part tomorrow. Just a little update for you guys as to what is going on now. Because it is about almost 9 o'clock. And very soon I'm going to take a shower and actually head to bed guys. But I was able to make the, um, I actually made the salad for the week which is in here because I have no room whatsoever in the fridge at all. It is ridiculous. Um, the fridge is completely filled and I have got to get the um, fridge stuff that I pre-made for tomorrow into the fridge. Um, like I made mashed potatoes already. I pre-made the apples. I also pre-made the cornbread and um, I'm making these sweet potatoes right now. There's three different types of potatoes I'm making. Red potatoes, sweet potatoes, and mashed potatoes. Um, and then I am also doing, like I said, the apples. I'm also doing the cornbread, meatloaf. We're also gonna do possibly either turkey today or, I'm, I'm sorry, not today, on, tomorrow or on Christmas day. Um, that is still being decided. Doing corn, green beans, um, and then also like a California medley, which is actually just frozen vegetables I got at Aldi. And um, I'm just gonna, the, well, not the green beans. The green beans were fresh green beans, the corn, and the um, California medley is frozen. So yeah, I think that's everything we're doing. I think, I think, I think, I think. <laughs> um, but the frozen stuff, the only thing that I really need to do or could possibly do is the green beans. I might do this right, that right now. Um, Cause we're actually watching the Hawks game, which might go until 10 o'clock. If it does, I'm gonna actually stay up and continue cooking until then. But the problem is, like I said, there's no room in the fridge. What I'm gonna have to do is there's ground beef and there's chicken. The chicken is for the weekly dinners that I'm going to make after um, Christmas. I might not cook on Monday, it's kind of depending, but I got a five pound thing of chicken breast at Aldi that was on sale. So I'm gonna make four dinners with that, probably do about a pound and a quarter each for the dinners that I'm going to freeze. So what I'm going to have to do is make those tonight in order to have room in the fridge, which I wasn't planning on doing. I was planning on doing them possibly like either Christmas night possibly maybe or on Monday morning or something like that. No, I'm going to have to apparently now make them now because I don't have any room in the fridge. If it's going to be for the meatloaf, I have a bunch of other vegetables that will end up in the chicken. So that also will go in the freezer. That should make enough room so I can actually put this stuff away because right now I have all this stuff sitting out like I said the salad is sitting out on this on the sink because I don't have any room to put it anywhere so guys I am like in over my head right now um, and it's not even that like it's difficult I, I have no room for anything like nothing I have no room in the kitchen to cook I have no room in the fridge to put anything in there oh my goodness guys so yeah um, I'm gonna probably take a couple minute break and watch a little bit of the Hawks game wait for the potatoes to be done and then possibly get going on the freezer dinners it is now 10 30 guys I'm gonna take a shower and head to bed I'm sorry today's vlog wasn't quite as long or anything like that but guys I'm crazy busy because of Christmas Eve being tomorrow. The only four things I was actually able to make was our pre-make was the mashed potatoes, the sweet potato casserole, which has to be baked at um, 350 for 45 minutes. And I did this, I used this little trick for myself. I just write on there. So I don't have to go back and look at the instructions or the directions or if there's anything specific that I'm like, oh, I need to bake this like, you know, uncovered or you know covered or whatever and um just so that i know so now i can just pull it out of the fridge and be like okay throw this in the oven i could literally even tell somebody else to do it because it's written right on there and i have to be like can you guys go look at my pinterest and then go find this recipe and then go and you know it's just too long so that is um super easy and helpful i just thought i'd share that tip with you guys as well if you guys are like pre-making stuff for holidays or just like dinners and whatnot um that's really useful um, especially if you're using somebody else's recipe and you don't know what the recipe is um, and there's a lot of things too and especially like on Pinterest sometimes I can't always find my pins I'm like oh my gosh where did I pin that one <laughs> and so it takes me so, you know so long to find it and so yeah this is just a lot easier for me but I made that and then I also made the cinnamon apples which also have to be baked as well and then the cornbread which will just have to be reheated along with the mashed potatoes I still have but we decided Christmas 
Christmas dinner, we're gonna do the turkey and we're just gonna end up doing leftovers like the leftover mashed potatoes and all that stuff because we should have plenty of leftovers, guys. I still have to make the meatloaf. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I could actually just do it in the morning and then throw it in for dinner. Um, and then also the mac and cheese, which is kind of the same thing. I told you guys earlier with the sweet corn, that can just be made, like I could make it in the microwave. Um, and all I have to do is like add, I think butter, possibly dill to it maybe. I'm gonna double check on that. Steamed vegetables, like I said, I can just throw those in the microwave as well. And then the green beans, I could probably just do those in the steamer actually. Um, that might just be as easy or I could possibly do them in the little crock pot. I could possibly throw them in the oven. I don't know, I'll probably double check on the recipe, but that's just kind of it. All I have to do is really just snap the green bean, the ends of the green beans. And then the garlic dill new potatoes, which um, all I have to do is pretty much just chop up the potatoes and then put them in the tray along with the whatever couple other ingredients there are but that one I couldn't even pre-make anyway uh, I also have to make the garlic butter which is gonna go on the garlic new potatoes and then also the it also goes on the vegetables and then also the corn as well and I need I think two sticks of butter but I think I'm done butter wise I don't think I need any more I bought three more salted butters and one unsalted butter at Aldi and I've almost gone through like two packs already <laughs> making all this stuff because like the potatoes and stuff like that there's like it's tons of butter that's called for but for the garlic butter as well I didn't realize how much butter went into this stuff guys seriously um <laughs> yeah but I also also finished the freezer dinners as well that was the other thing that I ended up doing I'll share those with you guys and then I actually need to go run them out to the freezer this is what I made um, for this week I also have two vegetarian dinners that I'm actually gonna make as well that are freezer dinners but I don't have to do this today I'll explain those to you guys in another vlog but I used five pounds or a little under five pounds of chicken breast I used maybe about a pound and a half or so for per each um, and this is red pepper chicken and I also cut up in total six red bell peppers and then um, I used two for each and then I used two just I'm gonna do like as an appetizer kind of thing for tomorrow as well like a veggie tray it was also what I did I ended up cutting up all these vegetables I also had to cut up an onion in here as well and then for this one um, I also used like I said about a pound and a half of chicken breast this has got zucchini in here which I also cut up three zucchinis and did about a zucchini and a half between the two of them and then also this had green bell peppers in here I bought four for the week I used one in each and then I also used two that like like I said, I'm also gonna do for a veggie tray. So I'm gonna go get these out to the freezer. Guys, oh my goodness, if I am seriously, after the holidays, I'm never going to cook or bake anything again. <laughs> like it's going to wear me out until next Christmas because this is crazy because we had no room in the fridge. I'll show you guys now. Um, I had to move these up here. I'm going to eventually put them down here, which is where all the other stuff was. I'm going to move the ground beef up here and then actually stack the trays down here. I also have to cut up the broccoli too. Oh my goodness, guys. My brain is going to explode. My back is so sore too, guys, from like sanding and from cutting and everything. But um, I also also got a pineapple and a cantaloupe that I'll probably cut up. I don't know if I'll actually do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll like do it on Christmas for like breakfast or something. But like I said, I am most likely gonna take a shower and head to bed because I'm exhausted, guys. And I still have so much stuff to finish up tomorrow. But like, it's a seriously holidays. I don't even know why to, cause my mom was like, oh yeah, go ahead, like do whatever you want. I was like, really? And I was like, why don't we have Boston Market? That was my smart idea. And then I decided to make all of the whole Boston Market, you know, list of everything that's from Boston Market. So um, yeah, that was my, my loud mouth getting me into trouble again. <laughs> And um, we could have ordered it. It probably, I mean, would have obviously been a lot less work, but I feel like this is kind of like the memories. Like I remember doing this, like I think it was three Christmases ago too. I did, I made like cooked a whole bunch of stuff. I probably in a vlog, I could possibly share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, I remember baking and cooking. Like, I don't think I baked, but I cooked like that whole day. It was crazy. I was so exhausted after that and I think I slept like all day on Christmas because I was just so tired um like we, I woke up and we did presents and everything I think I went to back to bed or something like that I don't even remember um but yeah our room went to bed earlier I don't even know but I just remember I slept probably really late the next day too um and that'll probably end up happening you know on Christmas as well probably end up happening this year as well but I will talk to you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll talk to all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys